He leads, I follow, is more than a simple statement. These words represent a desire to follow Jesus Christ, poor, chaste, and obedient. Placing the Eucharist at the center of their lives, they witness to a life lived for God and others. And since 1863, this has been the mission of the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration. The story of the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration begins with their foundress, Aline Bonzo. Aline was a humble servant of God who would go on to become one of the truly great women of the 19th century. Her desire to live the gospel of Jesus Christ in the spirit of St. Francis would inspire others to join her, and her humility, patience, and penance led many to follow in her footsteps. Aline Bonzel was born in Olpe, Westphalia, Germany on September 17, 1830. Desiring to serve God from an early age and attracted to the spirituality of St. Francis, she developed an intense prayer life. She also developed strong devotion to the Eucharist from an early age, praying at her first communion, O Lord, I am thy victim. Accept me as thy victim. Do not reject me. Aline felt called to religious life and wanted to serve the needs of poor and neglected children and those in need of health care. In 1863, Bishop Conrad Martin asked her to found a congregation in Olpe and to adopt the rule of the Third Order Regular of St. Francis. Aline then became known as Mother Maria Theresia. Our congregation, the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration, was founded on July 20th, 1863. The opening statement of the Constitution expressed the purpose of our congregation. After the example of our Holy Father Francis, the sisters strive to combine the contemplative life with the active in perpetual adoration and the works of mercy. These works of mercy included educating youth and caring for the needs of the sick and the poor. Widespread anti-clerical laws in Germany early in the 1870s restricted their work and the reception of new candidates. Undaunted, Mother Maria Theresia accepted the invitation of Bishop Joseph Dwenger to establish a convent within his diocese of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Six sisters would be sent to the United States. On December 14, 1875, six German-speaking sisters descended from the train and took the first steps upon their new home soil in Lafayette, Indiana. There was no one there to meet them and no place to go until a policeman aided them in finding lodging. Pulling back their woolen capes tightly around their rough brown habits cinctured with knotted cords, they picked up their small bag of belongings and shivered a bit as the winter winds blew through the train station. Thus began the history of the Sisters of St. Francis, a perpetual adoration in the United States of America. Within three weeks, the sisters converted donated property into a temporary hospital with open arms to the poor and sick. Ten months later, a new St. Elizabeth Hospital was dedicated. A section of this building became St. Francis Convent, the sisters' home. In September of 1877, the sisters began teaching and administering at St. Boniface School in Lafayette. Mother Maria Theresia kept close contact with the sisters through letters and visits to the United States. She undertook three long voyages to visit her sisters in America. In 1886, the size of the congregation necessitated the division into two provinces. The German province with the mother house in Olpe, Germany, and the American province with its provincialate in Lafayette, Indiana. After a life of adoration and selfless service, Mother Maria Theresia died on February the 6, 1905, leaving a work richly blessed by God and a well-established congregation. The motto of her life was, all as God wishes, he leads, I follow. The church recognized a miracle attributed to her intercession in March 2013 that paved the way for her beatification. Those humble origins launched the sisters' expansive ministries in healthcare and education. In 25 short years, the sisters were teaching in 23 schools, 
and had founded 19 hospitals in Indiana, Nebraska, Colorado, Ohio, Tennessee, Missouri, and Illinois. In January 1931, the congregation was raised from a diocesan to papal community as it was placed under the guidance and protection of the Holy See. Also due to rapid growth, the sisters in the United States were formed into two provinces. As the number of sisters in the Immaculate Heart of Mary province and the postulates grew at the Lafayette location, it became necessary to consider a different site for the provincial house. At the urging of Bishop Knoll, a home and surrounding land was purchased in Mishawaka, Indiana, and in 1943, the relocation of the provincial house was made. Formerly the Carlisle Manor, the new provincial house was now referred to as Mount Alverno. It became the site of the province's administration and formation, as well as the retirement home and infirmary for the sisters. The same year also witnessed the move of St. Francis College, now the University of St. Francis, from the former provincial location to Fort Wayne, Indiana. In response to calls for assistance, four sisters were sent to establish the first foreign mission in the Philippines in 1962. Due to their expansion and steady growth of new members, they became a province in 1993. Today, the Sisters of St. Francis sponsor Franciscan Alliance, a healthcare system including hospitals, clinics, and other support service. The corporate office is located on the grounds of Mount Alverno. Our apostolate in higher education is continued at the University of St. Francis in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which currently enrolls undergraduate and graduate students. The sisters continue with their presence at St. Boniface School, Lafayette, Indiana, their first educational ministry in America. The sisters also serve in parish elementary schools and diocesan high schools. In addition to these apostolates, the sisters are involved with other works of mercy, such as retreats, visiting the elderly in parishes and nursing homes, serving in soup kitchens, homeless shelters, clinics for the poor, home for unwed mothers, and right to life organizations. As did the six pioneer sisters who came to America over a century ago before them. The sisters today adhere to the words of Mother Teresa, who exhorted them, as we pray, so we live. As our life, so our prayer. Our religious vocation is an unmerited gift of the Holy Spirit. For the Lord says, It was not you who chose me, it was I who chose you to go forth and bear fruit. The initial formation of a sister leading up to perpetual vows is a special time in learning about the life of a sister of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration. During this eight-year period, the sister participates in deepening her understanding of religious life through adoration, prayer, study, and community life preparing her for profession of the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity, and lifelong service in the name of the Church. Each sister's life in community and service to others is fruitful only to the extent that it flows from prayer and adoration. The primary apostolate of perpetual adoration of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament is carried out day and night in the Adoration Chapel at Mount Alverno. In these hours, the sisters seek to offer atonement and to pray for the general intentions of the Church, the world, and those who have asked for their prayers. Mount Alverno remains the hub of the province. The sisters are grateful to God to be nestled in this beautiful setting where the young sisters can be formed in their religious life, where the senior sisters can enjoy the more contemplative years of their life where perpetual adoration can be carried out and where all the sisters of the province can come home to celebrate community gatherings and seek respite from the demands of their more active apostolates. It has also become a place where they welcome their co-workers, visitors, and groups with Franciscan hospitality. Although many things have changed over the years, the mission of the sisters has remained the same. We, the Sisters of St. Francis of Perpetual Adoration, participate in the mission of the Roman Catholic Church by living the gospel after the example of St. Francis and our foundress, Mother Maria Theresia Bonzo. 
we strive to combine the contemplative life with the active through perpetual adoration and the works of mercy in education, health care, and other ecclesial ministries. Mother Maria Theresia's example of a life consecrated to God and His Church has and always will guide the sisters in responding to God's call through their prayer, community, and apostolic life. In gratitude to God for over 150 years as a congregation, the sisters continue to live and cherish the motto of their foundress, Mother Maria Theresia Bonzel. He leads, I follow.